James Schramko here from superfastbusiness.com and this episode is about my stand-up desk and some of the equipment I'm using in the studio. So to make this video, I'm actually recording on a Canon 60D DSLR camera. That gives me up to 12 minutes of high quality filming. I'm using a Canon RC6 remote to turn this video on and off and to auto focus. I'm actually watching myself back on a flip out screen so that I can actually ensure that I'm in the picture. I'm recording the sound with a Rode NTG3 shotgun mic feeding into a Beach Tech mixer. That gives 48 volt phantom power. That means I get one SD card that I can edit. Now to make this look good, I've got the backdrop here is a black felt, but I also have white paper and green velvet. And over there, I've actually got a whiteboard, which is four meters long. I can use that as well. Now I've got my MacBook Air sitting here. Now I could use this as a tutorial thing and cut between me and ScreenFlow, and I could actually use this to prompt, or I could use either of the 27 inch monitors that are right beside the camera screen that I'm looking at now. So if I just look to the monitor, and I could be reading it, but I'm not, and it would probably be undetectable. Now for lighting, I've got a light down here pointing back onto the backdrop, which is why you can see that sharp line of light between me and the background. I've got a light here pointing down to the top of my beautiful head, and that will give that definition. I've got a light over here coming to me at this angle, and I've got a light just here pointing to me. So that's why you're seeing this computer light up nicely here because it's got a light. Now this desk is fantastic. It's just about belly button height and it means that I can work away at my computer standing up and avoid the fatigue of having to sit down all day. Now I know I could crank out tutorial videos all day long with this setup. It's set up to go. I don't have to move anything. I can just turn the lights off and then I can switch it on again tomorrow and get creating content. Now, a big thing this year for me has been creating a lot of content from superfastbusiness.com. That's why my listenership for the podcast has increased, my YouTube channel's growing stronger, and people coming to my site are getting really good information. So I guess the action step for you is, how can you lift the quality standards for your productions moving forward this year so that you can have the best quality content for your customers? Well, I hope you found this useful. I'm happy to take your comments and questions. I'm James Shramko. This is superfastbusiness.com.